Hey everybody, Steve Chase here. I want to talk about profit margins and if you're a small business owner, how important they are for running your business. So gross profit margin equals revenue minus cost of goods sold uh, divided by revenue times 100. So simply put, take your total revenue and sales that you occur, subtract your expenses of cost of goods sold, and then divide by revenue. And that is going to give you uh, a really strong number to see how your margins are. Net pro profit margin is going to be net income divided by revenue times 100. So that's, that's pretty straightforward there. Basically, what is your bottom line number? Take that number there. In this case, it's 39,000 roughly. Divide by our revenue, which is uh, 69,000. And what we get is 57 percent so this business owner here is saying that uh, our net profit margin or his net profit margin his business is 57 percent so what does that even mean what does that mean if you're afraid of numbers ah, don't be afraid of numbers first of all learn it and then then what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to compare it to prior periods. So let's say your first year out of the gate, your net profit margin was 15%. Year two, it's 32%. Year four, it's 42. You see where I'm going with this? It's a metric that you can compare to your prior periods of your business and gives you, are you doing better or worse? Or it will, it will really cause you to really question uh, your business and it, it really frightens you. Your net profit margin can really scare you to death. Um, if your business is not doing well, you know that um, you're going to have to make some changes. You also can compare it to your industry peers as well. So that's um, another valuable tool uh, that you might consider is being able to get data sets outside and, and look at to see how you're doing. But um, before you even start looking at other people's businesses first make sure your business is operating the way you want it to and you're focused on the way it's going to be run okay so let me go ahead and jump into QuickBooks online show you how to do this okay so first you're gonna start off by going to reports and running the good old-fashioned profit and loss report Okay, change the dates and so forth to whatever you would like. Okay, now remember that cash and accrual are not the same thing. Accrual in this scenario here, accrual means we've earned ten thousand for all everything invoiced. Not doesn't mean everything's been paid yet. If I click on cash and run it, then you'll see that um, total income it dropped five thousand. So there's about five thousand dollars of unpaid invoices to show you that a little bit easier you'll you'll go to the accounts receivable aging summary report and that's going to tell you what the difference is of accrual and cash now also it could be other things too as well if you have bills that are unpaid on the accounts payable that could also influence as well on the on the net income okay so um, back to what we're trying to do we're trying to show a margin uh, ratio so when you run the profit and loss, choose the period that you're going to do it with. And then we're trying to go down to the very bottom and look at this 1,000. We have $1,642. We want to divide that by our uh, total income here, 10,000. Okay. And you just do this. You click on this little guy right here and you, you say, uh, percent of income. That's it. To percent of income. Run report. Go all the way down at the bottom. And here we have 16% uh, is our net profit margin. If you want to see gross profit margin, scroll up to the gross profit line. Gross profit is going to be your Revenue minus cost of goods sold. So in this case, 10,000 roughly minus 10, 9,000. Um, I'm sorry, $10,200 minus 405 is 9,709. So you take this, this is 
of our total income. That's gonna give you information to make better decisions. So rather than just saying, hey, we just need to get sales up, well, <laughs> and that's great if you can get your sales up, but do you know which products and services here are the profitable and which ones you might be losing money uh, with here? Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching. I really enjoyed it. Feel free to connect with me later if you like at um, sequentiasolutions.com or just send an email at stevechase at sequentiasolutions.com. Have a great day.